Okay, everyone. This is King Boomer. Hello, if you don't know me. Here I am. Don't call me a Muppet, though. Just kidding. You can call me a Muppet whenever you want. Um, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing another reaction video. Um, Queen Boomer will be back soon. I also got a podcast that you might want to check out. Um, other than that, this is something that has been highly requested. This is Meet Carl Pilkington. I think I've seen this once before, but I can't remember much of it. But who doesn't love Carl Pilkington? I mean, come on. It's... <laughs> he's one of the funniest people. Without knowing that he's funny himself. Um, and I guess this is an uh, interview that Ricky does. It looks like it's from, like years back maybe like 15 years ago but uh yeah here we go this is meet carl pilkington much of you have probably already seen this before um let's get right into it and see how funny this is going to be <laughs> can't wait all right here we go hi um thanks for buying my dvd politics uh, as a little extra, um, I thought you could meet a friend of mine. I talk about him in the show, Carl Pilkington. Um, <coughs> I thought it would be nice for you to get to know him a little bit better. So please meet Carl Pilkington. There he is. Uh -huh. Alright? Yeah. Good, yeah. Look at his little roundy, baldy, monkey head. Are you getting that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl, a lot of subjects we touch on. He's like, yeah. Um, it's in here. The, in the Take a look at politics it. Politics in general, yeah. things like race, disability, sexuality, law and order, crime and punishment. Oh no! I want to go through those uh, with you, and this uh, is going to be your views insane. on those subjects, and thereby the general public getting to know you better. Uh, so let's go for it, shall we? Okay, start off with uh, race, a big political issue. Race. What do you think about race? Just, well, just all the same, aren't we, at the end of the day. Good. Yeah. I mean, some of us age better than others. Yeah? What do you mean? Uh, Chinese. Well, what do you mean? They just... They age better than us. No, they, they age worse than us. What's that based on? Just when you see them. <laughs> yeah, but I can see how old they are. No, but you never see a sort of a 35-year-old one. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? You know what? what do you mean you don't see a 35-year-old one? Right, we're in London, yeah. yeah. It's a Chinatown. Yeah. So, I walk through there a lot, right? And they just always look old. <laughs> yeah, but they might be old. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, but why they're you, not. What is he? <laughs> you can't say that, Carl. And you see some that are about, th probably about 30, right? And, and I'm not having a go, but normally, when they're about 20, they're good looking. Right. You think they're all right? Yeah. See when he's 30, forget it. They just age overnight, it's like a pair. <laughs> Oh my god, Carl is too much, man. He just age overnight, it's like a pear. Oh, what a Muppet. What is yours is this? Chinese people age very... That some of the oldest people, I think the oldest man in the world is Chinese, 120. Yeah, he says, he says he's 120. He's probably about 40. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, fact. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not having a go. I like him. <laughs> Keep themselves themselves and that. They're alright. But... Oh my god! Oh, race, that's done. So that's brilliant. That's it. We've covered race. <laughs> Ricky's face. We talked about disability in the show. What are your views on the disabled? Oh no. What, dis what sort of disabilities? Well, what sort are they? Well, as soon as you mentioned disabilities, I'm thinking Elephant Man rather than just in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. Because they get looked after, they get ramps and that, don't they? They're alright. Well, they're loving it. They love, they love those ramps, don't they? No, but they yeah, can't really. get enough of those ramps. In and out of libraries like nobody's business. There's, there's different, I mean, you know that, I mean, it's the freaks and that. Ricky, stop! No, again, I'm not. Wait, what are you saying? They can't get enough of those ramps. In and out of libraries like nobody's business. There's, there's different, I mean, you know that, I mean, it's the freaks and that. <laughs> no, again, I'm not, you know, it seems like I'm just... just oh, yeah, that's right, Carl is. They fascinate me. 
Like, yeah. What do you mean? What is a freak to you then? Something that you look at and you go, you know, you do a double take. <laughs> Steve Merchant. <laughs> uh, just, just, just. I'm sorry, I had to stop. Because uh, <laughs> I did a reaction video to uh, the bits from their podcast where it's like all the insults between Carl and Steve. I'll do another one soon. But uh, just the fact that I. I was not expecting him to bring up Steve Merchant when he was talking the subject is disability. Ooh, man. That's funny. Just on the show. <laughs> <clears throat> right, okay. Like what though? When was it when they used to have sideshows and that and they and they'd take him out like the pinheads and all that? Nothing's changed, has it? You know what I mean? People still like to see the two headed kid or whatever. <laughs> Who likes to see a two-headed kid? <laughs> That's what you mean, isn't it? You like to see a two-headed kid? There's no such thing. You don't know what? <laughs> There's not a two-headed kid. He's <laughs> <laughs> got that book! Is it true you carry this book round with you? This is a book, right, of the 50 sort of weirdest things in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rundown, right? It's a rundown, it's a little chart. Oh good. no! Right? At number 50, don't know if you can get this. Two headed fella. That's at number 50. So what's at number Look at one? That. It's not two heads. Oh, it's two heads. It's not two heads. Can you see that? What? Yeah. It looks like he did a haircut what do you mean it's not two heads? and well, put it's a face not, on it. It's not. I mean, it's it's weird. I'll give you it's. I mean, that's not a, that's not a normal look. I will give you that. I mean, I don't think he could be sorted out with the salon. But it's not strictly two heads, is it? But I don't know if you like it, that's a good answer. Right. That. Well, that's at, that's at like number 50 and that. There's loads of, loads of stuff in Just, Do you want to run through some of your favourite freaks with me? Uh, just got to watch it, it's getting a bit worn out. Some of my favourites, yeah? Right. Just normal, normal lad, yeah? He yeah. looks normal there, eh? just a nice little head. Nice little haircut on that, nice top, right? Yeah? Yeah. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Three oh legs. Three Look legs, at Ricky's dying. He's quite happy with it. The annoying thing is, right? Yeah. Three legs. Yeah. You know what his job was? Yeah. Three legged juggler. What's the point of that? What do you mean the point of it? Well, he was his career's advisor there. <laughs> <laughs> what should he have done? Well, he's got three legs, isn't it? So, any footballer, whatever. <laughs> jogger. <laughs> Carl, how would he do that with three legs? How would he do that? What kind of three-legged animal is faster than everybody else? There's no such thing. Uh, I love Carl. I love him. I, I love him. I love him. You know what I mean? Oh, God. So you got that in there. He's at number 23. Oh, God. There's loads of odd diseases. I mean, you were talking about, like, disabilities and that. Sometimes it's not a disability. Sometimes just people have got weird stuff. There's, there's one there. Right. Again, just normal family, family photo going on, yeah? Everyone's sort of stood around, stood around the piano with the little mate. He's got that, that aging oh, disease. Hell? And it's not, it's not funny, aging but looking, sat around the piano, singing happy birthday for the eighth time that day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Oh man, I hope Carl doesn't mean this stuff. I know he's like just sweet and innocent. He just likes to to complain a lot, but <laughs> that was savage. Singing happy birthday for the eighth time. Good lord. Oh, just weird really, really stuff like that. Really Rick, weird, isn't it? Ricky can't it handle it. Fascinates me. It's not having Neither a day. It's just just odd, odd stuff. I like odd stuff. So, is that class as disabilities? Well, I thought so. That's what I think of them then. I mean, what other famous sort of freaks are they? See, I don't think they're even like being called freaks. I think if you're born with an extra leg, <laughs> right. and the uh, and the midwife says, well done, Mr. and Mrs. Chalmers, uh, you've given birth to a nine pound freak. I think, you know what I mean, the freak isn't a term that I think they use. Well, how do they break it to them? I mean, do they, do, do, do they sort of, just slip it in so they go, right, we've got one leg out, and there's the other two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. it! in that way. 
Stop it, Carl. Yeah. Elephant Man. Yeah. You know, he's that's my favourite film. You know that. Why is it your favourite film, though? It's just because it's, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's sad. It I've just seen makes it. You think, oh, you know, but kind of like a big I've head. never heard of anybody you know, saying it's. You have to wait very long. You'll think that you've got a normal shaped head. Okay. You say that which round? Head again. Perfectly spherical. <laughs> what what shape should heads be? Well, they're not perfectly spherical, is it? There's not. Most people don't look like a tennis ball. So where are we? He almost laughed. Elephant Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just my favourite film. See, you know that wasn't his real name? You know his name was John Merrick? But the doctors did use the Elephant Man as the name, so they knew what his problem was before he turned up, otherwise you're wasting time looking at filing systems. <laughs> when we say John Merrick's coming in at three and the doctor's like, oh, what's his problem? Wasting time, they go, Elephant Man's in, they go, right, get some more bums in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god! <laughs> Sexuality. Like? What do you think of uh, gay and lesbian oh. issues? <sighs> Each to their own. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I had one working for me. One. You had one, yeah? Good. Gay fella. <laughs> you had one, yeah? Good. Yeah. Do you have a name or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, it's like our doctor said, Elephant Man's in. I'd sort of say, it's gay fella in, they go, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just quicker. The problem with him was, right, it's his gay stuff that he got to, whatever, you know, each to their own and that. Like what? What sort of gay stuff uh, do they do? What they do. They do stuff, don't they? But, but this, this, like... Carl looks uncomfortable talking about this. Because it stay out late. And that's what they all do. They're always tired. That's what they do. So... Okay. Gays, you know, the, the gays are alright. Gays are alright, are they? Good. How important do you think education is? I haven't got that much. I'm all right, aren't I? Mean, <laughs> I don't know, Carl. I just mean that you can learn things. You can you know can too much, though, can't you? And then you worry about stuff. What sort of thing? What do you mean? Just stuff, like if you watch the news, you start going, oh, it's a war on and that. Don't watch it. It's like, no worries, do you know what I mean? you got Einstein. Yeah. He knew loads. Look at the state of him. He looks a bit of a mess, doesn't he? Right. Whereas he's probably talking about his messed up hair and all those famous photos of him. He's got hair going everywhere. That's probably what he's referring to. <laughs> but you never know with this guy. It girl's so funny. I don't know. Look at a caveman or whatever. With no worries. Fairly healthy looking, good hair. You know what I mean, they're not bald. They're not stressed out. Because you've lost a lot of hair, do you think that's from all this knowledge that's shooting around in your head? Yeah, probably. I do, yeah, probably. Do you agree? I could do without, you know, some of the knowledge you've got on that. I think we need some evidence, though. I think we want to know some of the knowledge you've got. Like what? What do you want to know? Like, I, I remember talking to you about the nature of infinity once, and uh, there's a lovely model that shows the nature of infinity, where they say um, an infinite amount of chimps, an infinite amount of typewriters, will. Um, Type the complete works of Shakespeare, and you couldn't grasp that. You couldn't. Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't happen. I think you know it wouldn't happen, but you say it would to annoy me. No, because it's it works by definition because it's the nature of infinity. It doesn't matter. If it, it, infinite <laughs> it means it, if they did everything at random, it's just random, 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 forever, forever and ever and ever. Eventually, they type everything. They it, 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 it wouldn't. It wouldn't. They check. What do you mean it wouldn't? It wouldn't. There'd always be mistakes. There would be mistakes. <laughs> they'd do the complete works of Shakespeare an infinite amount of times. Yeah, he's not getting it. Do you mean they'd actually do it from start to finish? <clears throat> or a chapter? They might get a chapter done and you go, right, well done. <laughs> oh, shut up, no, 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 no. There's no, there's no feedback to it. It's just that everything being done, they will eventually do everything every time. They're, they're, they get it wrong an infinite amount of times. They get every letter wrong an infinite amount of times. So monkey. Doesn't matter whether it's an infinite amount of the monkeys. Why does the other one know what the first one did? It do doesn't matter. They've chosen monkeys. He's not getting not it. because they're thinking about it to take thought out of it. They want it to be random. Yeah, but when they hand over, when they shift over, over the what do you mean they shift? The monkey. The monkey's done done. I whatever shift pattern they're on. <laughs> they're not on a shift pattern. Infin infinity. You work from now forever. One well, monkey. What difference does it make if it's one monkey? For an infinite amount of time, or an infinite amount of monkeys, 
Because you can believe it if it was. Look at how it was mad well Ricky's before. getting. Because he's going to get better, isn't he, as time goes on? It's nothing to do with their consciousness. It's nothing to do with them thinking about it. What do you mean he'd get better? He'd get better <laughs> if he's doing it on his own. If it's just a one monkey, he knows what he's done. It's nothing to do with knowing what you've done. It's just a random process to show the nature of infinity. With no errors. It may not happen. Seriously, people. I think you're winding me up on that one. It wouldn't happen. And it hasn't happened. Because we haven't had an infinite amount of monkeys. We've had years though, haven't we? There hasn't been one publication for monkey. <laughs> it's been around, it's been around longer than us. That's what I'm saying. Right? <laughs> there hasn't been one publication you know, you know, for a monkey. It doesn't happen. It'll never happen, Carl. Think of the old people. Think of the old issues. Oh mm. man. What do you think about you know? But isn't it a shame that the world they love and then just get a little state pension that? Oh, they do all right for themselves, don't they, old yeah. people? What do they do? Just, just potter about, don't they? Just potter. Yeah. They don't need much money. Yeah. As you get older. What do they spend it on doing? Ornaments. Which <laughs> are fading out, aren't they? Yeah. They, won't have, they won't have ornaments in a few years' time. No one buys ornaments now. It's always older people, isn't it? Yeah. Just as you get older, I mean, things are changing all the time. It's like I've said to you about old people that don't have Twixes, they don't eat Twix, but they like ornaments. So that generation, you know what I mean? Things change. What? what do you mean old people don't like Twix? You never see an old man having a Twix. You don't, you never see one eating one. Well, how would you know? Because you see them, don't you, sat about having Werther's or whatever. But you never see them sat there tucking into a Twix. I've never thought about it. Well, oh, that's because you haven't seen one, so think about it. If you saw, if you saw a fellow eating one, you'd go, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> Start with capital punishment. Do you believe in the death penalty? <laughs> yeah, if, uh, if you know for certain that. Well, how do you know for certain? If they say I did it. Well, people have confessed before and been lying, haven't they, to get attention or something? Why would you? Why would you lie? You might be protecting someone else. Uh, the love of a of a, a parent for their child who's committed a terrible crime might say I did it. There's loads of reasons. How, how can you kill someone? How can you make that a definitive ending when you can never know? <laughs> because that it? person wouldn't do it again because then they'd know, wouldn't they? What? Say if what? I did a murder. Yeah. You said, I'll take the rap for it. Yeah. Right? You go and get hung. Yeah. I can't do a murder again because they'll go, so it wasn't him. It was well, there's loads of, no, there's loads of reasons people. Uh, uh, if you're mental, if you're a serial killer, you don't stop because you think you might get caught. So what are you asking me? I was asking you, do you believe in the death penalty? No. <laughs> well, you, what, what do you want me to say? I don't know what the right answer is. Well, it's what you think. We're having a discussion. I said, I said, if, if they've done it and that, yeah, do them in, yeah. Could you pull the rope? Could you release the guillotine? Why am I getting involved in it? Well, if you believe in it, surely, surely if you believe in it, you should be able to stand by it. Well, what, which one is it? Which one have I got? A, do what, what button am I pressing? Does it matter? Well, yeah, it's different, isn't it? Well, you wouldn't hang someone, but you. So, what do you do when you hang someone? You kick the stool away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Maybe. Well, it probably is, I don't know. It's probably more sophisticated now. It used to be a trap door, didn't it? So, you just go like that. It's an easy gig. <laughs> it's a job. That's someone's job. Okay, then. Okay, we're not getting anywhere in. If you had to be killed, right, would you rather be hung, beheaded, Burn at the stake or lethal injection? Probably, uh. Definitely a lethal injection. Probably injection. Definitely. I said, do you know you just go to sleep? What if I tell you? Everything else is the same, but with a lethal injection, as he injects it, he just slips his finger up your ass for a laugh. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> is that in small print? Have they told me that? Is that in small print? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Ricky does such a great job of winding him up, man. Genius. <laughs> I'm just saying, would it make a difference if you're gonna die anyway? So you just lay down like that, like he just injects you and he goes, okay, he's just not. He's, uh, why is he doing that? What? Why is he doing that? Just for a laugh. Why not? 
<laughs> why not? Well, yeah, if he's killing you, if you're worthless to society, why doesn't he help? You might as well put his finger up your ass. What's it up to you? What's to you? It doesn't make any difference to you, is it? You're going to die in a minute. And do I know he's going to do this? Yeah, he's, well, I'm, you, not, I'm not happy. So what is it then? <laughs> Leave injection with the finger up the ass. Hang in. I'm not happy with the finger up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. But you're not. Surely you're not happy being put to death. I just say, uh, what, what, hang on a minute. What, what's what? Why are you putting gloves on? Why are you getting that finger to get me ass? He maybe doesn't put gloves on. Why does he put gloves on? Well, I'm, I'm not happy with that. But it's nothing to do with you, Paul. Well, what do you have? I'd have a leaf injection without the finger up my ass. That's not your choice, though. You've done an awful crime. <laughs> That's not your choice. I'm not having a finger up the ass. Hang me then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd rather be hung than a leaf injection with just, just popping the finger up your ass. I don't want that. So okay, um, uh, have you already cut off? You know about the, uh, are you, are you still alive for about 30 seconds? Oh, so God. Wouldn't have thought so. Oh, no, here we go. Because, uh, yeah, I remember this from the uh, cartoon. It's a Ricky Gervais show, where he did that. I hope it's a little different from that one, but... Because I can't remember this one too well. But that, the funniest part of that cartoon was when the head flipped. He was like, so, in this world, the head lands perfectly on the neck and goes, <clears throat> what do you want to know? That that bit was absolutely hilarious to me. Uh, <laughs> but let's see what he has to say. You see, this, again, you know, you believe the monkey's talking away. Well, it's nerve reactions, isn't it? You're not alive as such. Well, they got him to walk um, years ago, whenever they did the last sort of... Head chopped off thing. How long He's talking about that? walking now. I don't know. A few years ago, right? Yeah. And um, he said to him, right, you're going to die in that. You've yeah. come to terms with it. Yeah. yeah. Have a bit of fun, right? Um, Think uh, about the arse? No, no, no. <laughs> going to do a white line on the pavement. Bollocks. How could they tell him that that's what they were going to do? So he was meant to what? Remember this and walk the white line without a fucking <laughs> yeah, head. Yeah, without a head, right? right? This is what they did. Well, no. He painted a white line, yeah. right? Yeah. He said to him, right, I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah. There's the line. Have a look now. Right, so you know where it is. Carl, think what you're saying. How is, how is he going to remember it without a head? No, you remember. Yeah. You, you remember. Where's the memory? Where's the memory? In his legs. <laughs> where do you think you store a memory? In your fucking arms. <laughs> yeah, but if you do it quick enough, if it's like, go, and, and you no, he's walking there, head. and he's, he's walking. And he walked. He, no, no, it's bollocks. It's he bollocks. Did, he did 35 steps. Bollocks. It's not it's, bollocks, though. Because how can bollocks. the body remember what his head was told a few seconds ago? His head's now in a basket. Yeah. Right. The body doesn't go. What was I meant to? Sorry. What was I meant to do? <laughs> I know. I was meant to walk along. Well, yeah. they did it. It was a test. Like, well, no, oh, it didn't happen. You're talking shit again. Okay. Believe in okay. absolute yeah. bollocks. So it's you with the monkeys and the Shakespeare. <laughs> That's what annoys me. It's not about monkeys, is it? It's about random. Carl's got an amazing brain. So you have lethal injection? Lethal injection, yeah. I think that is best. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Carl Pilkington. Oh, man. Carl Pilkington never ceases to amaze. He is the round headed, bald headed mank, as they would say, because he's from Manchester. You guys taught me that. I just thought Mank was another insult. I didn't know what it meant as an insult, but I thought it was an insult. But now I know that Manks are from Manchester. So thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Carl's Pil excuse me. Carl Pilkington's brain never ceases to amaze, no matter who you are. He has a fascinating brain. So thank you for watching. Throw a like, a subscribe. Do whatever you want. It's a free world out there. This is King Boomer. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll get Queen Boomer to come back in and help me out with some of these videos. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.